Welcome everyone to your full moon reading for February. This full moon, my friends, is the snow moon, which is a micro moon. A micro moon means that it is furthest away from the planet than normal, right? So <clears throat> micro meaning small. Um, this is a time to take advantage of opportunities and set achievable goals and work towards them with dedication, okay? And um, this is because it is a Virgo moon. So this is going to be another one of those Virgo moons. We had one in, I believe it was September, right? <clears throat> during Virgo season, let's put it that way, during that new moon. So this is going to have that kind of same idea, right? Um, the idea is it needs to be achievable. It needs to be grounded, right? <clears throat> so let's get in here, my friends. Welcome back, everyone. And anyone new, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get in here and see what is going on with this beautiful snow moon for everyone. This is an everyone's reading, so best messages coming out. This is for the complete collective. Best messages, please. message for this beautiful snow moon full moon getting ready to let go of things so that we can bring new things in right guys we need to let go so that way we can get them now this moon is going to be also very interesting as well because you want to make sure that you are setting goals for things that are achievable in the now this isn't for this moon is not for long-term goals they're for things you want to achieve right now really quick right really quick like i want to make money now right and um, this isn't just the long term we get some of these full moons are like for the future i want right and i would like for it to come in this one wants to bring things in quickly and remember if you already manifested from the new moon it's also going to want to bring in things from what that new moon to you so you might also be seeing those manifestations coming through from the last new moon okay so this is surrender to the divine full moon <laughs> right? It's time to surrender. It wants to bring in things quickly. Okay. <clears throat> so the next card coming out is expect powerful changes, new moon eclipse, which is crazy. We're going to get ready for an eclipse here pretty soon in April. April is going to be our eclipse season. So we'll make sure that we get those out as well. Work through your fears. Right now is not time to have any fear-based things. We need to become very uh, proactive and identify and address any red flags that are coming towards us so we can get rid of those right and play pay close attention to your intuition and your gut feeling your intuition is that gut feeling if you know something is giving you red flags pull pull away right not not needed right now okay so surrender to the divine going right there let's go ahead and go that way for just a second and see what is going on spirit says yes Surrender to the divine. It is time. It is time to let go of things that no longer serve you and give yourself room for what? For things that you want, things you're going to manifest. If you guys did not watch that manifesting video, um, that will help you on the money area. That video is all about the money, right? <clears throat> so surrender to the divine. This card is talking about What was it? Full moon. Uh, these cards are weird because they're always in this weird area. A little bit harder to find. Give me just a second, my friends. For some reason, they don't make these very easy. Special moon cards. There you go. Special moon. Do, do, do. Okay, this card is talking about the very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind. Agreed. But it really is the feeling of the card life. Excuse me. But 
it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some sort of change in the air and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune into the emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface, no matter when the moon cycle you pulled this card. Right now it is a full moon, so we got lucky on that one, right? <laughs> Matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor at this, at this time with these positive cards, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. So that's what I was saying right now is identify and proactively start addressing what you need to do. If you know I need to hit that protocol, Hit that protocol. If I know I need that quota, I need to really focus on that quota to make what it is I need. Okay, so, and this one's saying with the portal over here, it's about the inner earth, base chakra, strength and security, laying those foundations. Yes, and that's that grounding energy. Like I said, this is a grounded energy. This is Virgo. So it's definitely going to want to hit those roots and those uh, inner earth base chakras, right? Base chakra is that root chakra. Anything that has to do with that, right? Because it's going to be that I need to be grounded, right? I need to make practical steps, okay? So just going there for a second. Let's grab another card on this side. Let's see what we got over here. Just another card. So, yeah. <clears throat> keeping that strength and that security within you at this time. Time to co-create, time to push the boundaries, but yet stay stable. It doesn't want your head too far in the clouds right now. It wants you to be as grounded as possible, right? So card coming out is, that's crazy, taking steps. I just said that too. That's so crazy. It wants you to take those steps forward. It's going to make a big, huge difference. Small practical steps that can make a big difference in how you're staying grounded, right? Go ahead and let things go. Don't see it as what? Don't see it as a loss. See it as this is what needs to happen. I need to get rid of this energy, right? You cannot really see it as a loss if it's not working. You can only say, okay, you know what? It has to be this way. I have to do this so I can make the room to have something else come in, okay? So identify what it is that you say, I don't need this anymore. It's just holding me down. It's holding me back. What are the red flags? Right? So Spirit says over here, let's see. I'm grabbing another card. I mean, surrender to the divine is think it through. Yes, absolutely. Think it through. What is it that I truly need at this time? Right? Reroute your, your life, your things that you want. Pay close attention to your, like I said, to your intuition and your gut feelings as well as you are thinking it through. If you feel that the path you are that you're on isn't working, then reroute it, right? That's how you're going to let that go. Let that one energy go, ditch it, put in something new, something that's going to work, something you know will help you gain the success that you're looking for. Okay. Awesome. Because this full moon says, this is what I want. I want it practical. I want it grounded. I want you to really think about what it is you really, truly want. Ex uh, expect powerful change. Because the expect powerful change says what? It says, if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, this is it. This is the card of the beginning, and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quite a ride and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new direction you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you were at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate it later on. A new portal is opening up and, and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past. While well, we just said that, let go of things that don't serve us. And move through it. You're being put back on the right path. 
There is nothing to fear. Like I said, if you don't feel like you're on the right path, you need to go. So what is the portal card? The portal card coming out for you is, clarify on the portal card. This portal's opening. What's the portal bringing on this one? Stellar gateway activity and activation, infinite potential and manifesting. Go ahead and do your manifesting on what it is you truly need. Karmic board clearing, energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live in your truth, get rid of things that don't serve you, watch for those red flags. Wow. Okay. Okay, so that's what it wants you to do. It says, yeah, let's get down there and get this done. Next card coming out. Great portals. Professional assistance. Ask for help if need be. Do things for your family, for yourself. Right? Ask your family for help, however it is. Building up that family, building things up for yourself. I love that. This is the reality. It's kind of the reality check of the moon over here. I really like that, guys. That's a good one. Okay. Just remember that it's saying, you know, that you need to get rid of things that no longer serve you because sometimes you may be manifesting and, and working towards something that may not be good for you, right? So really oh, take a reality check. Look and see if right now, right? This, remember, because this Virgo moon says, I don't need you looking for, um, this is more of a reality thing. Remember, I always tell you guys, you know, manifest big or go home. But this one is actually the one that says, but I want you to manifest something that's actually going to work that you actually know is actually going to be easy, easy to come in. Something easier, something you know can be quickly done. Manifest something good, something that you know you can have, right? Okay, so you might be something that you need to be faced and try something different that is better for you. Rework that. This is all about reworking that. Okay, if the universe doesn't want you to have it, then the universe won't give it to you. Try to, try. you know, this is the time to try something different. Try something else. Smaller, what? It's all about the small steps. We'll worry about those big ones later, right? Because I've already got those manifested. I've already worked on those, right? Those are my New Year's resolutions. Those are the big ones. Right now, we're looking for the little the little guys, remember? Micro, moon, micro, little, you know? These are, you know, I can win $50, on, you know, on a scratch or $25 on a scratch. You know what I mean? Little, little, little at this time. So that those things can really come into, you know, into the being. These are the things you really need, um, but you know they're easier to achieve. I know it's weird. Watch out for the misunderstandings, right, during this moon and be mindful of that communication because it doesn't want you to underestimate what is going on and the power that it actually has. It just wants you to be mindful that I need you to get the things you really need right now. What is it that you need now that you know could come in quickly? It reminds me of, uh, I know I told you guys that once before in a video, if you guys watch these all the time, my son had manifested $5. He was like, I just need $5. And he was literally walking down the street and found $5. I just could not believe it. It was like literally only like two or three days later, guys. It was crazy. Literally $5. That's all he needed. He just needed five bucks. That was it. And this was before he had his job, right? So I just thought it was kind of crazy. It was like he was so aligned with the universe that he was just like, that's it. I'm going to manifest this. Um, and he did it. And I couldn't believe it, actually, to tell you the truth. Because I was like, whoa, that was because it was so fast. But he knew what he wanted. He knew how to align. He knows how to manifest. So he did exactly that. And not only did he do it once, but he did it twice. I don't even know how. And the second time he got... 20 bucks and I can't even I don't even like wow okay full moon in Sagittarius see the bigger picture and that's exactly what it's telling you see the bigger picture to the situation make sure that you have full understanding if you have any doubts or insecurities about what you're manifesting it's not going to come you can't have doubts and fears see this is how he manifests because he doesn't have doubts and fears he puts it out there he says I'm going to have this and then he turned to me and he said 
I have $5. And I was like, what? Yeah, but he didn't even have it yet. And then like two or three days later, he goes hiking and goes out and does what he does. And he comes back and says, guess what I got? And I said, what? And he said, I got five $5. And I said, that fast? And he said, yeah, that's because that's how it works. I was like, shoot. Okay, you're better than I. Maybe you should be doing these readings. <laughs> he should be teaching you. Um, right? But he just already has in his mindset. That was it. And then he said, he said a week later, he was like, I need 20 bucks. And I was like, what do you need $20 for? And he was like, I want Cheetos. I want sodas. I want this. And sure shit, he got it. And he was like, it's mine. And he walked out that door. And five days later or whatever, he had 20 bucks that he had literally found in the desert. Walking around. He finds this stuff out in the desert. The heck, who loses twenty dollars on the desert? Okay, those kids are out there probably partying or whatever, right, guys? <clears throat> okay, so however, but uh, yeah, pretty crazy. So work through your fears, and that's exactly what I was just saying. Because he has no fear, he doesn't fear it. He says it's mine. I have no doubts. The universe will give it to me. Why would I fear that? Why would I say he's not going to? He's got a vast of everything. He's right. Okay. So it says, don't have fear. What are we fearing? Work through your fears. No doubts, no insecurities, no worries. You give it out there. You put it out there. You get what you want. Serious star blessings. Yes. Proceed. <laughs> There's your answer. Push through it. Proceed to be seen. Work through your fears. Push through it. There's your answer. That's all you need to know. Why? Because you have the Merkaba activation, which is the transcendent, the ascension. You are rising up. As soon as you know that you have no fears, that you have no doubts, you already said, this is what I'm going to have. It is mine. He said it. He said, it is mine. He went out there and he got it. Fastest manifestations I've ever really seen up close. I may have seen them before, but didn't realize it like that, right? I think when you see it from other people's point of view, it's a little different. But however it is, it's like, damn, that was fast. So, yeah, and that's what that is. So, hmm. and clarify on that situation. You are rising up. As soon as you get rid of all the fears, it's saying you can have this. It's yours. But be sensible about the situation at this time. Like I said, right now is not the time to be in the heads in the clouds. So we have commitment and hidden motivations. So be committed to your commitments. That's what it's saying. Be committed to your commitments. You want it. Why are you doubting it? Don't doubt it work towards it but also remember you have to put in the action for right he put in the action he went out there to the desert and started wandering around the streets and stuff and found his money he didn't just sit at home and wait for it to fall into his lap he was like i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna go see where i can find money or something like, how the hell do you find this stuff well he says god gave it to me i said well of course he did he led you right to it didn't he he said i asked for it he led it to me well all righty Hidden motivations. That's exactly what it is. There's so many different hidden motivations. You don't even know what's behind the veil. You don't know what's behind the veil. You just have to keep your strength, your trust, your faith that whatever's there is there for you. And here it comes. It's a time for manifesting, right? But you have to have what? Heightened emotions. Know what you want. Use that intuition. Use that spiritual energy. Time to try something else or smaller steps. Watch out for misunderstandings during this time of the moon and be mindful about the way you're communicating with the universe. If you keep saying, I can't, I can't, and you won't. Just remember that full moons are often seen as a time for releasing what no longer serves us, right? And then you can shift, right, your intentions towards the future and once you get rid of all that stuff that no longer serves you you're doing what my friends you're making room new room for new things i get rid of that now i have room for this it's not like you have a two-car garage well you're not going to get a third car if you have two cars already in a third in a three-car garage if that's a broken out you know it's well broken down and it's like some lemon and it's broken down and you want to put a new car in there you have to get rid of the broken one first right to make room right? So you have to see it that way. Same with clothes. If you have old, old, old clothes you've been holding on to, but yet you want a new wardrobe, where are you going to put it? You're 
you have no more room for your closet. You're going to have to get rid of some old stuff to be able to get the new in. No matter what, that's the way our bodies are made. That's the way our hearts are made. That's the way our we are made. You can only have so much room. You have to make new room for new energy. That's why they say when one door closes, a new door opens. Take time to really analyze your routines, habits, and make overall adjustments. So areas that need small adjustments to improve health, wealth, and overall well-being right, are getting here. And they want this before springtime. See, this is, this is the one that says, I want this here before springtime. This is your springtime moon. You start doing this. I want to bring this in for spring. This is the moon that says, I want you to do some spring cleaning so we can have these new things at springtime. Nice. Okay, so this full moon is actually going to give us an eternal battle between pushing and pulling, right? Depending on which energies you are looking at, you could feel very stressed or very pe uh, very peaceful due to the energies because these energies are very high right now. And since the full moons amplify energies, it's a battle between desire and rest. That's what this new Virgo moon is doing. This full moon, excuse me, full moon is doing. Okay. <clears throat> This full moon is saying, you know, are you going to, you know, be stressed out or are you going to have desire and rest? Now, mind you, if you're being pulled towards rest, always rest before you go to, towards the desire and stress. It's not going to put you anywhere. It's not going to do you any good um, to be stressed out. Okay. There will be many things you'll feel and you'll want to do. Okay. But if you're going to be stressed out about it, don't do it. Always make sure that you take the the rest okay remember whatever intentions you set on the on this full moon it is very likely you will start to see the rewards coming in on this full, uh, you know on this full moon so pretty much also whatever intentions you set on the last new moon you will start to see coming through on this full moon more than likely and whatever intentions you made on this full moon you will more than likely start seeing them come in on the next new moon Okay, because these are very close. Like I said, these are called springtime moons, and they want to get things moving for the spring. Also, be careful also of the illusioned and height and the heightened sexual energy, okay, as it can affect your, uh, this one's going to affect your sacral chakra for those overall desires. It wants to bring in a lot of desires. So watch your sexual energy, okay? It's going to have a lot of heightened sexual energy. So this says, unleash your kindest self and attend to the details of what it is you truly want, my friends, right? When you work through the fears, you know, and uh, make sure that, you know, that you take time to breathe and be proud of yourself always. Always give yourself the gratitude, right? And reveal what needs to be seen, okay? So, and it is definitely time to talk less, feel more, <laughs> Okay, so, and just, yeah, yeah, you know, and be careful of people too, you know, because we're in that Pisces energy, um, you know, and that heightened sexual energy is going to be coming off that Pisces, right, energy of that sacral chakra, so be careful also, you know, people might come at you, want to date, it might not be that 100% time just yet, right, we have certain portals open right now that are saying, mmm, be wary, Right. Is it really are they really saying what they're saying during the uh, you know what the portal opens uh, the tw it'll be the 22nd through the 26th. OK, of February. OK, so by the time you get this video at the <clears throat> portal, just is just now opening. Right. And it'll close at the 26th. So kind of watch those energies of sexual tension. From people because it's going to be very flirty and people are going to be really flirtatious and it's been kind of these portals this way since valentine's day that very flirty energy right because of all these venus portals and all these things going on right so just watch that okay and uh i say once that that portal stops if they're still being flirty and they're still wanting all this stuff right then you can say is it real or was it just an illusion right was it just an illusion? Did they just, 
you know, come towards me with that werewolf kind of energy, vampire werewolf kind of energy, you know, of just flirty, flirty sexual, or is it actually have meaning, right? You'll know that after that portal closes around the 27th to the 28th, right? Whether or not this is meant to be. So just really watch that flirty energy. That sacral chakra is going crazy as everybody wants those desires. And we do know that sacral chakra is the sexual desire as well. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.